Hello YouTubers, this is Average Joe Video back again. Today we're going to take a look at a slightly different topic than usually what's on my channel. And that is, as you can see in the background here, we're going to take a look at the Bagster. So for those of you who are not familiar with the Bagster product, basically you go to your local home improvement store, Amazon, etc. and you pick up a Bagster. So you pay approximately $30 for the bagster now in my mind the bagster is almost just a gigantic burlap sack um, with handles on there and everything is sewn very well to prevent tearing so what you do then is you fill that up with your waste and debris uh, verify first of course that the bagster picks up in your area and once you've done that you simply get online you just request a pickup and you pay whatever the fee is so one of the misconceptions i think with this product is what it's going to hold not only in terms of volume but in terms of weight this is actually my second bagster i have been working gradually on a project where i'm tearing out stone and masonry work uh, in addition to some cinder block that was all mortared together as well so I, I just actually was using a jackhammer here over the weekend to finish things up so i was trying to fit everything into the second bagster the first bagster i thought was full I thought that there was no way they were going to pick that up, but of course they did. So as you can see behind me, this is actually what we're looking at. We are looking at the Bagster and if you take a look, look at how full this Bagster is. I mean, this is not your average amount of weight. Um, it may be your average amount of volume, but it's not your average amount of weight. Now there are restrictions, so in no way am I telling you to overload your bagster, but one of the things that they are looking for is, is they want to verify that number one, you stay within the confines of the bagster, which as you can see, there's a lot of irregular pieces of, of um, block as well as stone here, but you want to make sure when you're done filling it that you're able to take the yellow handles and that they actually can overlap. So if you look, I'm actually able to get these to overlap like so, which means there shouldn't be a problem with the crane actually hooking onto it. So there are restrictions. Uh, if you take a look at how I have this placed on my property, um, it's actually off of the main road. So if I back up some, this is where we're at. It's off the main road. Um, there's no obstacles above and there's at least five feet from the obstacles that surround it. So this is basically where I placed the last one and I'm curious to see if they're gonna pick this up. One of the things they tell you is, is that you should only be filling it about halfway whenever you're dealing with stone, rock, dirt, etc. There's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that show it actually being filled above capacity. So we're gonna actually see how this works. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Bagster and you're wondering how does the whole process work once you request a pickup, so basically what's gonna happen is this. You're going to get online and you're going to, first of all, verify that the service is available in your area, as I said before, before you go through the effort of piling it full of junk only to have to pay a different hauler to come and get it or even possibly have to transfer it. So make sure they're available in your area. You can do that on the Bagster's website, which I believe is thebagster.com. Once you've done that, you're going to be able to get a price for your particular area. Uh, where I'm at here in Pennsylvania, it's $110 for the pickup. I believe there is a $5 discount if they are picking up multiple bags on the same trip. So if I had a second bag here and they were doing that all in one pickup, it would be $105 instead of $110. Uh, once you've put that request in, they are telling you that they will pick up your bagster within three business days. Now, in both instances, I requested the Bagster on a Sunday. I requested pickup, and then I got notification, of course, that it would be picked up Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Now, when I say I requested on Sunday, I mean I put the request in on Sunday, but you can only pick a weekday for the pickup because they don't run on the weekends. So they tell you within three business days. What will happen is, once you put the request in, you are then going to receive two emails from them, um, both of those just confirming that the request has been placed. Then after you've received the two emails, you will then receive another email. 
the additional email will actually say the bagster is on its way. So for example, I'm actually recording this on a Tuesday. It's telling me the bagster is on its way for tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Now that's not 100% guaranteed. They do tell you there is an option where it may have to be rescheduled. So you will get 24 hours notice prior to when the bagster is picked up. The last time it worked perfectly. I got an email. On a Monday, they picked it up on a Tuesday. I came home from work and it was gone. So we're gonna see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually set up a camera, more likely a security camera since I won't be home tomorrow. So we can see if they pick this up and just see how the bagster actually can handle this amount of weight. So I'm looking forward to see how that turns out. But if you're skeptical on the bagster, my recommendation to you is check your local rates for a dumpster. In my particular case, number one, the bagster was more convenient. It was still cheaper for me to pay for two bagsters than it was for me to pay for a full-size roll-off and pay the fees for it. And I also would have had to have it returned within a certain amount of time. So it just worked out. It was more economical this way. Again, I think the roll-off would have been obviously more durable having the steel roll-off to haul all of this stone. But I think weight-wise, I'm actually ahead as well because I know with the roll-off companies I checked in my local area, two ton is included with the initial rental of the roll-off and then every additional ton is billed at a certain amount. So when I did the math on it, this just worked out better. So this is just kind of a quick overview of the Bagster. I even have my almost matching Bagster green Nike shirt on here. Um, but this is just a quick overview of the Bagster and we're gonna see what happens with this um, tomorrow to see if they come and get this. This is a considerable amount of weight. Uh, if I had to guess, this has to be pushing three ton and that's just a, a conservative amount just with the amount of um, mortar and stone and block that's here.